Alrighty, race fans, welcome to another edition of the Workbench. Well, today we're going to do some uh, oh, destructive testing here. Um, a while back, I was able to get several of these motors from a supplier over in China. Uh, it's ostensibly very similar to an SH-030 Mabuchi motor. A uh, few little differences, but the armature in this thing is like two tenths or three tenths of an ohm. It's really, really a low ohm motor. So I thought, well, you know, maybe we can get them and work them up and stick them in something else and, you know, we'll see. But what happens is once you put some real power to them, they can't uh, stand up. So right now we're running at about uh, less than two volts. So let's increase the volts and see what happens here. All right, so that's five volts. It's drawing about six tenths of an amp at five volts. Normally, a six ohm motor um, won't even be drawing a tenth of an amp. All right, six volts, and we're at about seven tenths of an amp. Seven and a half volts. And it's not happy. That's eight and a half volts. All right, here we're gonna hit it to the wall. All right, so we gave it the full amount of juice and it's still running and there goes the other motor brush. So evidently the heat is so great that uh, they go away pretty quick. So now let's uh, we got these things. They're plenty cheap. Let's try another one. Get a little old. All right. Here we go again. about 6.3 volts 7.8 8.7 9 volts for drawing almost an amp that's a lot of lot of juice you can hear it beginning to not be happy there with that much amp draw 10 volts just about an amp still. Eleven volts. Twelve volts. Yep, there goes the motor brushes. And the commutator went. There's the ring and the commutator it went. So we'll pause the video here and we may pull these things apart and see what kind of destruction we got. All right, so here we are. I pulled one of the motors apart. Uh, you can see that the ring that goes around the commutator right up in there, that flew off. The motor brushes are out of the end bell. And then if you look right there, you see that the uh, com plates uh, because it got so hot, that fails, then with that little ring fails, then the plates flower out. So it's not that the plates flower out, then that fails. That fails first, this little ring that holds it all together. And then the uh, the plates flower out and then take the uh, the end bell with it. So even at around, oh, 11, 12 volts, you got it over an amp uh, worth of current going through this assembly that was never probably meant to take that much and it self-destructs. In fact, there's one of the motor brushes right there. All right, so there you got it. Sometimes low ohms isn't everything.